In this video we're going to take an in-depth look at the project New Year's Resolutions application for which we will design a GUI front end and of course we will have a chance to test our skills to keep up with the good organizational principles of MVC, the Model View Controller Architecture. So this is our homework handout. My plan is to give you some guidance on how to practically organize your work and get this problem solved. So let's begin with the basics. Uh, one choice would be to start from scratch or perhaps to find a suitable prototype project that you can clone and then use it as your starting point to move forward. Since we have already covered the initial JavaFX project creation a couple of times uh, from scratch, I think it's a good chance for you to practice on your own. So I'm starting here already from the project that is already fully configured to use JavaFX library. And I expect you to read our project description in details before you continue watching this video. But I can show you how the final version of what we need to build looks like when we are finished. So I'm just going to press the start button to start the project. Um, and this is how the main window looks like when it's getting started. It is showing the list of New Year's resolutions. Then we can either confirm the resolution uh, when we press the done button or nullify it by pressing the oops button uh, like uh, an undo option in the text editor or roll back the previous transaction. So this is an idea either press confirm button or nullify button. You can see the history is getting updated here automatically and uh, I can hide the history view and then I can just start confirming again it opens here automatically there is also a clear button here which removes the history from the history view so you get an idea there is of course the model tier object the business object or data object which has a list of new year's resolutions that you can see in this window so this is simply a pre-populated list of strings as soon as we start using the buttons uh, in our main view, the history window pops up and becomes visible. So there is another separate list of strings in our data object that keeps track of the history of the user actions. Right, So everything displayed in this history is also part of the list inside the data object. So, of course, without any doubt, all this information is coming from the data object. There aren't any data structures or loops or any code that would manipulate the actual lists of strings in the view tier. Only the model tier, our object knows how to move these strings around between different containers. And if the content of any of the lists of the resolutions changes anywhere in the model object, uh, both views are instantly updated to reflect the latest modifications of the data. The name of the class for our data object is NYR data. Right? So this is the name of the class for this data object. And uh, in my next video, I'll show you my starting point and what it was like to finish the project in incremental steps.